So right now we are in Computex 2024, right in front of an Intel booth right here. NVIDIA is right behind me, right. This is one of the biggest conference I have been to personally. I feel like it's bigger than CES. It's in Taiwan, it's crazy. And there's a lot of like tech innovation right here, but there's only one thing that you really need to know about and I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's go. Hey, what's up everybody? So right now I'm in Acer booth right here. They are computer maker, but actually they, this time they release a, right here, a 3D camera, a spatial camera, a direct competitor with my iPhone 15 Pro Max, right here, my iPhone 15 Pro Max, spatial video, and they now doing spatial video in the PC round. This is the big news right here, uh, called Spatial Lab. Uh, if you can see right here, again, you have seen it in 3D, so it's 3D in 3D. You see the display right here, they have a special display. Actually, can see 3D right here. That's, that's really impressive. This is a close-up of the camera. You can see it right here, the left lens, the right lens. And then they have this little mirror right here. So if you're doing a selfie, you can actually see yourself right there. It's, it's kind of funky. Uh, it's actually pretty big in size. So this is the actual camera. The tripod's a little bit fancy. I'll put on my iPhone so you compare the sizes. So my iPhone is a little bit bigger, but my iPhone is skinnier. Uh, the lens is bigger in here though, so I, I assume the optic will be better. This is very important. They have like uh, EIS, image stabilization. So that's one thing that like, better than the Canon lens you're feeling right now. We don't have image stabilization, so I have been on tripod. This thing you can handheld it. Oh, so resolution, you can shoot 4K 60 frame. Hopefully you see it, 4K 60 frame right here. Oh my God, you can shoot 8K 30 frame, SPS. So you can feel, I assume 4K per eye in 30 frames per second. So you can do 8K 30 frame, 6, 4K 60 frame, and regular 4K 30 frame. So this is a lot better than my iPhone 15. My iPhone 15 Pro Max can feel 1080p in 30 frames per second, SPS. This can feel 8K, wow. So, so the IPD is 65, so it's very smart because the, the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max is not 65, it's uh, way smaller. So this is actually, doesn't need a computer vision to recalibrate, it's already have perfect stereo. So this is doing the live preview, so uh -huh. uh, for example, if you're making a movie, yeah. you'll, with our device, uh -huh. you'll be able to see what you actually are recording. In 3D? In 3D, how it looks like. Okay, so you connect, uh, you, so you connect a USB cable into a display. Yes, so one of our systems, yeah. Okay, now, so we have a model stand right in front of it. Uh, we are not faking right there. As you see the screen right here, you can actually see 3D. Uh, and then, this is like a 3D preview. So it's like next level. The Canon camera, you can't watch 3D. You only watch fisheye. Uh, in there, you can actually preview a person in 3D. So as a videographer, you can actually see what's going on when capturing it. So that is an innovation. The screen is, is really, really high quality oh my god is it an eye tracking right here to track my eye yes so these two are eye, eye tracking cameras tracks where your eyes are and then the, the screen itself will project the two um, images to your left eye and your right eye so with this all integrated together you see perfect naked eye 3d experience i think that the screen is actually more impressive than the camera itself because this is I, I never see this before. So, so now we can have spatial video without an expensive Apple Vision Pro. Okay, so so tell me, is this camera can do live stream? Yes. So uh, this camera supports uh, live streaming and also uh, vi uh, video calling. So what we have actually demo over there, that's uh, streaming via YouTube, and over there is our uh, uh, stereo 3D calling uh, experience. Wow, so where are calling Stereo Studio? Do I need to buy your display to do it? Well, it really depends. If you if you are on the receiver and you uh -huh. want to see 3D, you need one of our uh, display, or you can use like a VR headset. Uh, but if you only want to let the other end see you in 3D, you just need the camera. How? What is the price of the camera? Uh, the the price for the camera is uh, 549 US dollars. What about a screen right here? Uh, this one is actually our uh, commercial product. The consumer, I have present for the consumer product. The consumer is 19.99. So uh, we want to find out more information about the display right behind us, right here, as people playing video game. So tell me more, like the display, the consumer and the professional is the same price, right? 
Uh, no, they're different price. Okay. So um, the professional uh, special labs uh, monitors, we have like a set of software tools that allow content developers and uh, content creators to create their experience, their 3D experience to work with a spatial labs device. So for example, we have Unreal plugin, Unity plugin that works with both uh, game engines and we also support OpenXRs. So if, uh, if your software supports OpenXR, it works with our uh, pro devices. So I do have a question. What about Adobe Premiere and DaVinci Resolve? Uh, we don't. We, we right now we support uh, software like V Red, like Blenders. Uh, so those software work with our device. So you can actually see the model you're building in those uh, softwares on our device. But not video, not spatial video yet. Uh, spatial. What? Uh, sorry. I so so Premiere and DaVinci Resolve can edit spatial video for on Apple Vision Pro. So can I use your display? to edit spatial video for Apple Vision Pro? So we haven't tried that yet, but our camera, the footage you took from our camera is side-by-side -side footage. So if the software supports side-by-side -side editing, it will work with our footage that you took with our camera. So good to know. So the footage is standard side-by-side, -side, so actually any software can easily cut it. So do you have any special metadata to make that side-by-side -side become the spatial format on your display? No, we, we, we just use the standard side-by-side -side images, so uh, we, we think that's the uh, easiest way to uh, for, for a general audience to adopt uh, spatial videos. So yeah, so here is the brand new spatial, tell me a name again, Spatial Lab, right? Yeah, Spatial Lab. So this is our uh, Spatial Lab's uh, view. Spatial Lab view. So let's go check out the rest of Computex.